everybody and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I want to make a special thanks to you guys because at the end of this month, I'll be able to quit my other job and I'll be able to go full time on YouTube. I want to thank you so much for that. You just don't have any idea what that means to me. Um, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm just totally, totally grateful and humbled by your presence here. Um, this reading is going to be for those who are coming at you. Um, and for you, Scorpio, I feel like there's three people that you're directly involved with. And we're going to find out who they are. All right. We have an authority figure. We have somebody, 111, that you may have uh, beat in a competition of some kind. These people are definitely thinking about you. Like I said, there's an authority figure here. It could be a cop. What is the third person here? Somebody that has hope, a lot of hope. And I think they're, they're, they have hope about being with you. Somebody you may have ghosted or somebody that you no longer speak to. Let's get the Kipper out. See what we can find out here. Authority figure. Who is this authority figure? It's a cop. I mean, I can't. It's somebody who definitely wants to date you. And they are in an authority position. This could be a lawyer. could be a, a cop. I'm feeling a cop here. So, you may be involved or, or, or some officer of the law is trying to get your attention. Who is this person that had triumphant, triumphant, yeah, success over you or you over them? Let's see who this person is. Ooh. That's a family member. Somebody who's been keeping secrets from you. Somebody that you cut off because of the secrets. This is definitely a family member. Okay. And I think that success you had with that person is cutting them off. You, you let that situation go. You let it die. Scorpio's famous for that. Um, and who is this hopeful person coming in? Oh. <laughs> Guys. Just saying. I. This person holds you in high regards. Very high regards. But this person has no money. Could be a mature male. But they they have no money. And I think they're hoping that you help them. But we will find out with past, present, and future energies. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness. We got some... Ooh. Scorpio. What you got going on here? Because I tell you. What you doing, Willis? You got some toxic stuff going on here with a family member, with a mature male, and maybe a cop. Let's find out. Present, Past, present, and future energies for this 
reading. Ooh. So what I'm getting here is that you walked away from all three of these people. You ate a cup to their ass, all three of them. This one's a Knight of Wands. Ha oh, ha ha. This person thinks you're their twin flame. And they are watching you. I mean, it, it's like... They're holding on to what you guys had before. It could be a Taurus. And as a Knight of Wands, they think they're going to be able to just come in and do whatever they want because they're going to tell you that they were spiritually sent. Okay. This person is family member. They could be an empress. They're healing. They're healing themselves enough to come forward and tell you how they truly feel which is love. They're coming in to love you. You have succeeded in making them feel like you don't even care. If that was your intention, they are healing from that now. This third person is somebody you might have shared a home with at one time. It ended. But it's coming back around. I think this person sees you doing really well. So now they're coming back around because they got no money. And they think that they're going to be able to uh, ride your coattails. If that's how, you know, that's how I'm going to put that. Ride your coattails. Let's see what the present energy between these three, you and these three people are. And how you feel about them. Let's see how you feel about them. Who is this first person? How do you feel about this first person? Man, I just got hot. It's cold outside. I, I, not cold, but it's cool outside. And I just got burning up hot. Liar. Cancer. All right. So, you walked away from this person here. You definitely ate a cup to their ass. They lied to you about how they felt. And they may have three of cups to you. They may have went out with somebody else to try to make you jealous. And all it did was chase you away. I don't think you had any feelings for this person. I think they were just really interested in you. And you were like, you know what? You're a player because we got the Knight of Wands there. I got no time for that. And nobody got time for that. So you walked away. This person is charging back into your life to offer you something, to offer you something stable because you ended it with them. And they're coming. They're coming, Scorpio. So they're ready to give you everything because you ended it with them. I guess it wasn't enough in this situation. But there's definitely still some secrets here. So be kind of wary of this person. Make sure that you know all the facts before you get involved here. It's a number one, number one, number one. So we got one, one here. This is a pretty important message. And 22. One, one, 22. That sounds familiar. Um, and this person... You ended it with. They took something from you. 
And they see you as the Nine of Pentacles here. And they want you to be fair to them. But I don't feel like you got any reason to be fair to them. I really don't. Like I said, I feel like this person is trying to ride your coattails. If you're becoming successful at something, this person is trying to jump in and ride it all the way home. We have the lovers here, which is Gemini energy. And you may, like I said, you may have, have uh, we got the world twice. So you definitely ended it with this person. But it's coming back around. They think you owe them. Because you're becoming successful or you become successful and you're sitting in that nine of pentacles energy, they feel like you owe them because they're broke now. Really? All right. Let's see if we can get any more information in past, present, or future energy. This is future energy, but we'll see. Who is this person? The liar. Queen of Cups. Ace. Could be Sagittarius. There's something that's trying to come back from the dead. They see you as the Queen of Cups. And they are crystal clear about who you are now. So they're about to come in and apologize for whatever it is that they've done to try to even things out with you. All right. They're still a liar. Regardless of them trying to um, make good, because they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you the truth about a third party. And they're hoping that you will accept that truth with love. And maybe you'll accept that truth with love, but whether or not you get involved with this person, that's up to you. Uh-oh. We got a divine masculine and a divine feminine on the board in the middle. Could be a twin flame. There you are. You're getting justice in a situation. You know what? I'm feeling like that you you may not be the one that ended it here. They may have. Now they're coming in, charging forward, horses drawn, coming in to offer, make this grand entrance and this grand offer to you. And they're hoping that you're willing to take a risk on them. There you are, Scorpio. This is justice for the situation. So this person coming back to you after what's been done, over and done, is justice. Because they see you as a boss, as an emperor, or as an empress. And now they know that they've got a good inclination that something has, this person is like the phoenix rising. It's like they're, they're going through a, an ego death. And now they see you as wish fulfillment. Indeed they do. And they're taking a risk. By coming forward. And trying to transform this situation. Because they know they screwed up. They know they screwed up. Now you're this grand being in there and they're coming back because they know that they were supposed to be with you all along. But you won that battle. Let's see who this third person is that's trying to bring something back around after it, it was over. Oh gosh, King of Cups. Dude, I'm going to tell you what. I am not crazy about this person at all. Um, four of Cups. I don't think you want them. I really don't think you want them. But they are a divine masculine as well. And they are trying to bring this back from the dead. And I don't even think you see this coming. 
Could be another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the King of Cups here. And we do have the Emperor once again. So we have two masculines here coming after a feminine. And one of them's broke and older. This one is not older. This one is, uh, I don't got any pages there. These two are younger people. This one's an older person. And they see you as their meal ticket. But I don't think you see them the way they see you. All right. Yeah, it's a page. Expect a message from this person. What deck do we want now? Let's get out the love oracle or the uh, romance angels. See who these jokers are. The middle one don't seem so bad. Now that might have been something that ended that maybe you'd consider. But this person and this person, uh, I don't think you're even going to give them the time of day. This could be the one in reverse. Healing family issues upright. Like I said, that could be a family member. And religious factors in reverse. Oh, okay. So this person didn't believe in twin flames. They didn't believe in all that. You probably tried to tell them. And you might even try to help them financially or something of that nature. And they turned you down. Or you walked, you know what? You guys definitely shared some kind of home situation or comfort situation together. And they ended it, or you ended it, because somebody went into the Nine of Pentacles energy. And this person didn't believe in the Twin Flames. They didn't believe in the, in, in the, in the religious, it's not religious, it's spiritual. But they're, they, they used their religion as a tool. And all it did was make them poor. No chemistry here. None whatsoever. This person here is not the one. They are, you are not, I'm not the one. Not the one. This person is a user. And they're trying to come in to use you and ride your coattails. This person is definitely a family member. With the family card coming out and the family healing family issues. Yes, this person could be a Libra, could be another Scorpio. We got Leo and we have Libra. So this person is the one that you will listen to. But these two people... I don't think anybody got time for that, and I don't think you're going to mess with them. Let's pull out some love oracles. Like I said, the first guy or girl seems like an investigator or a cop or something of that nature. Outdated thinking on all parts. Somebody's not awake here. <laughs> Definitely not awake. And not I'm not saying woke. I'm saying awake, which means that you understand that this you're going on this journey and that you're you're transforming your life. That is what Scorpio represents is a death and a rebirth of a life, whatever that you are trying to manifest. This person probably got some money, but they didn't tell you that because they had somebody else and they lied to you about it. Now, 
they're they're in love with you and they only want you and you are their abundance so now they're talking to you again like i said now whether you take these people back or not that's on you i can't tell you what to do i won't tell you what to do because i can i could just give you the heads up of what's going on all right i don't sit here and bitch at people um this is somebody you're happy with but this is definitely a narc empath paradigm here Unfortunately, this per this person is not. Um, they're looking at your pictures. They're remembering the good times. They're loving you. They're falling in love with you. Oh. Because you won't put up with their shit anymore. They're, they're trying to wiggle their way back into your life. They're telling you how much they love you. And how much they want to be a part of your world. And give you everything. They are a boss. I mean, I gotta give them that much. Definitely. Not enough. Twin flames separation and mass let me tell you something this person right here could be a twin flame but they fell off the wagon all right and you seen through it you seen through the bullshit and you and you decided that you know what i'm not gonna tell you how i feel anymore not enough there's not enough for this relationship because this person didn't believe that in the twin flame journey so they blew you off and since they've blown you off now I don't have the tower here but we can pull more cards um, they went broke they completely lost everything and they're hoping that you'll take them back because they have nobody else to ask. They are all by themselves having to relive this moment over and over again. I feel like you've ascended into a higher knowing, into a higher understanding. And this, these people are still very, very 3D. Very, very 3D. Let's see what this one's got to say. Sometimes I hear your voice. I love myself enough to walk away. I'm happy that it's over. I focused on you instead of my pain. You're so easy to see through. Leaving you hurt me too. And you to them. I do wish you well. I do wish you well. What a mouth. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but that's the way I see it. This person's obsessed with you, okay? They're a liar, but they got a lot of passion for you, and they are love-bombing you. They are coming in and showing you extra, extra affection just, you know, through conversation. I don't see you meeting up with this person. I think you loved yourself enough to walk away. All right. With this one, I think you're happy that it's over. Because you focused on them instead of your pain. I don't believe this is coming. I think this is on both sides. You guys were in pain. So you, so you focused on each other instead of the problem that was at hand in this you know there's love here there's unconditional love here no matter what the family secrets were there is a healing going on and it's definitely a family dynamic okay 
And this joker over here, you're so easy to see through, leaving me hurt you too. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, this, this guy or girl here, this one's, this one's a joke, okay? Because now they feel like they're gaslighting you. You don't want anything to do with this person, even though they may be a twin flame. They were here to show you something about yourself. Okay? And But there is definitely not enough to keep this together, if you are together. Because this person is in a lack mentality, a lack state of mind, and they think that by gaslighting you, that they can come right back into your life and continue to do so, that you will take them back after a separation. I'm almost feeling like they want you to feel sorry for them, Scorpio. Don't. Just a fair warning. What, but you know what I mean. Fair warning. Don't. Let's see what, what kind of advice we can get from the fairies. Fairies, the fairies. Um, like I said, wow, what a reading! All right, we have six of summer, the seven of autumn, the seven of pentacles, and renewal. Oh. Are you going to let this person go back in? <laughs> yeah. They are trying to ride your coattails, Scorpio. Please understand that. We have the Princess of Autumn here. And that is studious, responsible, cheerful, and mischievous. That's definitely you. Um, happy news about your career. That could be a boss. It doesn't have to be a cop, but that that's just how it was feeling to me. But that could definitely be a boss. And they're about to give you a job or give you a job back. But it might, might not be everything that you thought. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. And right under that, we got release, let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities, and it's time to move on. All right, let's read these. The Six of Summer, Children or Childhood, The Return of People or Romances from Your Past, Remembering Events Differently in a Better or Worse Light Than How they really occurred okay so this person that you're dealing with may be seeing things this way but they are coming with an offer an offer of abundance so it could very well be a boss this is definitely a family member I have patience don't worry have patience don't worry Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. So this will be a good investment of your time. It's family. So this family is trying to heal itself. Family member, family. And this twin flame is coming back. Review and the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose. Releasing judgments of yourself and others. So you are releasing judgment about this person. Whether you take them back or not, that is going to be your decision because we have judgment of the world twice that's something coming full circle 
okay? So, oh, wow. Um, it's on its way back to you, but it's coming empty-handed as far as um, any kind of substance, monetary, or um, this person went broke. They lost everything. They may have even lost their family, home, and marriage. They've lost everything. And they're coming back to you, Scorpio. Because they realized that when they left, it was a total screw-up. It was a total mess. And they ended up losing everything. Like I said... It's up to you whether you take this person back or not. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But you know the facts. Alright? Wow. What a reading. Those are your messages. Please remember that... Blah, 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 blah. You know, uh, you're my first video today. I haven't talked in two days. So, remember to like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you all very much. Remember... You guys are setting me free from any other job, and I so appreciate that. That is just, you rock. You so rock. I'll see you guys again in the next hour or so because I'm going to do two Scorpio videos. Okay? Stay safe. Bye.